It is such a joke. Look at the other side. Oh, my gosh. We had to basically get a proof of life in a phone call from Joe Biden, the current president. I'll remind everybody, yesterday, whenever Kamala Harris went to that Wilmington campaign office, this is insane. Do they really think the American people want to vote for this party? This is what this party is doing to the country? Wow. You are exactly right, Lawrence. I'll remind the audience how the process is actually supposed to work here in America. These folks in Washington, D.C. actually work for us. We the people, we are actually supposed to vote for them and elect them to these offices. And yet it appears a lot of people for a long time knew Joe Biden could not actually run this race and actually probably shouldn't be president of the United States right now. Some people might say that it that, that June 27th debate with Donald Trump, which was obviously disastrous, maybe was the first step in pushing Joe Biden out. Then you had the press conference, the NATO press conference, where he stood up in front of, uh, you know, the, the country and, and really didn't seem to have it together. That may have been another step in pushing him out. And then it seems like whenever he wouldn't go out on his own accord, yeah, they had to threaten him. Right. And now they have coronated Kamala Harris. This is not democracy. She also dropped out before her own home state of California yep. voted in 2019 because she was polling so low. Right. You contrast that with the other side, which is what we're offering on the Republican side. We have a proven candidate who actually delivered results for the American people, for whom people actually voted in multiple mm -hmm. elections. Mm -hmm. You couldn't have more difference, and right. it, it's absurd what's going on remember, right now in this country.